Tom says salam. Later. Nisi top fan is here. I like a slam knees. How's it going? So here you come, slam alaikum. How's it going? Uh, she's very busy. <laughs> no. I, I see cake. Yeah, there's a cake being, uh, a cake will be prepped today. And we're going to be using this. How's mom niece? Posey's just doing some top level concentrating before she starts. It's I'm a, doing a little research, I'll tell you in a minute what it is. A meditation. It's my research on something. Before you start, I, I had a memory yesterday of something that Posey told me about. Why don't you tell everyone about how you got into the, a car and some, the guy in the car said to you, why have you got into my car? Don't do that. Show you. Why did I do that? What Fozzie did was she pressed her button key fob I did not to get, open the I door. I got into somebody's car which was empty though but it was exactly the same as when I had an estate, the black estate car. Exactly the same outside Iceland. And I got in the car, and there was an inhaler in a place that I wouldn't normally put it. And I looked at the inhaler, and I was like... This is not my car. This is not my car. Just looking at the inhaler. How did so you I get into out. somebody else's car? It was car. open. I think it was unlocked, but it was exactly the same. And then the guy saw you getting yeah, in. Yeah, no, no, he didn't open. I just quietly got out. <laughs> <laughs> literally, yeah. Literally, just quietly, quietly. Got into someone else's yeah. car. <laughs> That's I have done it outside Iceland, so I will not lie about it. This is not my car. Yeah. <laughs> I have done it. Right. Right, what's uh, what's on the agenda today? Is Susanna on first? I need to speak to Susanna. Is she, is she around? Susanna said I was doing a lot today, and I'm not doing a lot, really. Naughty Susanna. Where is she? Right, are we ready to go? It's gone after oh. one. Tired to hear, so he, he's seen you on Crime Watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's actually quite normal. That's that, one. that sounds about right, actually. Here we go. Right, shall we go? Will you put oven on? Put the oven on if you're making the cake. If you're making a cake, put your oven on. Come on. Zeph's just not moving off the chair, are you really? I'm just going to do it from just here. I'll see you moving on. We're going to do it from here. Get off your lazy bum. <laughs> Right. Okay, let's say. Everybody ready? Hello, everybody. Right, today we are doing. Say hello, Mr. Chowdhury, first. You've got to say hello, hello, Mr. Chowdhury. There you go. Right, so today we're doing two and a half things, really, actually, okay? So we're going to do the Battenberg cake, because we voted on that last week. And if you really don't want to do a Battenberg cake, you can just do the sponge cake, okay? So there's no sort of big stress about it. Do what you want to do. Not going to worry about it too much. We're also going to marinate the chicken as well and I'll explain why <laughs> explain that saga in a minute properly why and we're doing bean burgers first, first spicy bean burgers spicy it's just the jalapenos Bet better like, than Burger King actually they're really nice aren't they they are really really nice um, yeah because I thought i will just go away from the curry for a, a week or two but let's like to just do other things as well so oh Ty says uh, why don't I do the cooking one week um, <laughs> I think I'd, I'd have a meltdown, wouldn't yeah. I, if you did, actually, yeah? I'm not allowed to use the kitchen. <laughs> I, th I think I genuinely would have a meltdown. <coughs> right, we're going to go to the blender, which is why I'm moving you across this way. So we're going to start with the cake, okay? Right, Battenberg is made of two coloured sponges, as you all know, the, the yellowy and the pink one. I forgot to get me pink colouring. Okay, so, and then the yellow one. Almond essence. You could use different one. colours. Yes, what I was going to say that I actually was going to do a coffee and a chocolate. Or you could do a chocolate and orange one. You could do a coffee flavoured ones. You could do different flavours. I think they did do a challenge in GBBO a few years ago. And that was one of the challenges. And there were so many different colours you can use. Well, basically, you can do whatever you want. But the classic is a pink and yellow checkered board type effect. Okay? So we will try to recreate that today. 
So, but we need to get the cake in the oven before we get anything else. Quickly, to in. quickly. So, I'm using 350 grams of marge there, but I am doing two tins. Let me explain this. What? It will go into two tins because I have got a big family, right? And you don't want to make a big, huge cake. You want a quite thin layer, right? So, and it's going to be split in half, which I'll show you how to do. So, 350 will overflow with that. That will be like a big heat cake. So, I'm going to make it into two tins here. Nylas is a... Uh... How, asking how you are. Hi, Anna. Anna Warner. Hi, Anna. Uh, Anna. Sorry. Right, Posia, so, you're so talented. I know. I know. Let's go with that. Like the right. Mr. Ripley. Can we just go to the case? So right. If we were just doing just a, like a regular rectangle tin, I would do about 200 grams of butter and sugar. And what I posted up earlier on is what's needed. But because my family are gannets, we're doing 350, just because I've got a bigger family. And they insist on eating these things. Right, so it's 350 grams of butter, 350 grams of sugar. Wow. Let's go with it. Now we can talk about this before going on. Not really. Can't hear anyone. Right, All right okay. so you butter and sugar. Cream it up. Or use the hand whisk one, whichever you want to do. You can use the hand whisk if you want to do that as well. Okay. And and then drink it. means it's lighter. Be lighter. Okay. Right. Top tip. Top tip. My tin, my thing, you always need to bring it together for a little bit as well. Take it from the boxes on the sides, okay? To get your spatula out. Okay. One more with you. I'm just going to dump the eggs in because I said we're on a tight budget. You can do one egg at a time normally if you want to. Well, I'm just going to dump them in. Actually, I'll do three. I feel a bit too bad doing some more than that. What do you do up Stallone did in Rocky? Just drink them. No, we're not drinking yet. Okay. And then the next plate of eggs. Let's just chuck it in. Have I got a shell in there? I think I've got a shell in here. I've got to be a bit careful. Oh, I'll just put the other. Yeah, there is. Keep that in. Good job, I've got a glove on. Here we go. Right. Get that out. Food colouring time. How do you make four different colours? No, you do two. Check it board, you'll see how it all splits out. Ah. You do two colours, not four. Okay. I'm going to give it a couple of more seconds because still, I would not definitely do a bit more than that. Okay. I just, and a lot of the time, it does look curdled when you put eggs inside. Butter. Yeah, it really does. The butter's a little bit cold, but that's fine. It all comes together in the end. Okay. Did anybody read my smoothie vlog? Let me read it. Did I have time to read my smoke? I know I posted up quite late last night. Did you all read my smoke? Smoke my thoughts on smosis. I hope he's all dead. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the flour, but we're gonna sift the flour. That's what I'm just looking for some kitchen roll because there's some batter stuck here. I can see it before I close it. I'll just let everybody know. 
<coughs> Told you drank. This was a full bag of I didn't coffee. Drink. Oh, you're such a little liar, you are. French vanilla Swear coffee. Swear to God. Fozier right. drank it all. He didn't. He's just jealous because he wants to go back to Dunkin' Donuts to go and get some. If you like coffee, that is one of the best I've ever had. <coughs> right, okay, ever. let's put the flour in. So there's about 300 odd grams, slightly less. Flour, 320, I think it was. Self-raising flour. I don't tend to use baking powder, as you all know, or you should know by now. Uh, Kays and Sheila, said Samosa blog was very informative. I yeah. you spent a lot of time uh, doing the research. I, did, right? I didn't do research, it was just a lot of my own thoughts. I was ah. in chopping and changing, giving me a little bit. So, a bit of ground almonds. Okay, so you've got flour. How much flour? There's 320, and about 50 grams, 50 grams of ground almonds. Okay. Whip that through. Okay. Let's part, take you through. Here's a Sahina's husband. Hi, Dom. Is Sahina watching as well? She's behaving. Okay. I'm surprised if Carl hasn't joined on. I told Sir um, Charles here to join on. These are my uni mates, by the way, a lot of these people who I'm referring to. So rather, so you don't put the colouring and the flavouring in yet. What we're going to do is split this batter into two, roughly, okay? It's Sahina. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, Sahina. Hope you're behaving. I don't know. Right. Okay. So he should be able to make this cake. Come on, missus. That's what you should, daughter should be able to. Right. Yeah, Charge is claiming to be doing a ward round. Oh, I know. I know she told me she pretended to work. And then she caused a big argument in our uni WhatsApp group, didn't she? <laughs> oh, well, anyway. She's is that funny. the lady who clicked her fingers? No! That's... Oh, <laughs> Charge, are you know Charge, yeah? We went to Charlie's. <laughs> Who did the. That's Selena, somebody else. Take that waiter's. He always remembers them. <laughs> <laughs> Selena, he always remembers How to them. get a waiter's attention. Right, so. And get him to <laughs> spit it. in your food. Stop it. Right, listen, <clears throat> we need to split, split this mix into two, okay? Right, because I'm going to get two different. I've actually got my raspberry ripple icing sugar, which I've always got in. So I'm going to look at this and go. <clears throat> so we're roughly, splitting this into half. Roughly half, okay? Okay, that's what you want to do. Okay, so uh, this one. Sahina says, uh, of course I'm behaving. I haven't mentioned Nadia Hussain. <laughs> They're all taking the mick out of her. What are you talking about Nadia Hussain? Because Kazakhstan did the samosas before, the samosa pie before she did. You know that. Just because I brought that into my day. They're all laughing at it, aren't they? <laughs> right, okay. You have to read the, you have to read the samosa blog to understand that joke. So what are you putting so in? So in this one, and put them a raspberry ripple flavour in. So it's a pink one. So we'll go raspberry ripple. Because it's pink. You can use any flavour. Honestly, you use oranges, whatever. I'm going to put this back underneath the bleach here. Because the colour. I've got some pink colouring. I don't know how pink we're going to go with that. Okay, let's go with that. It might be dark. And in this one, we're going to use the almond essence, which is traditional. Glug it in. Right so in. no measurements there. Just throw it in. Just throw it in. Okay. Okay, so that one is an extra. Okay. You've got an almondy cake. i have doing almond and raspberry, raspberry and almond basically. Okay, I've got my bread crumbs in now, which is for the bean burgers. Okay. Quickly whip that colouring in from the icing sugar flavouring in. So a hand whisking will do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I don't know about this pink colour because I've not used this one that often, so I'm going to add a bit more pink colour. Where's it gone? Just add a little bit more because I like to make this one as bright as I can. Right. Okay. I don't want to over it because I've just used a bit of flour inside it already as well. Okay. So I need to go and get another spatula to mix that through. Give me a sec. What, uh, why aren't you using the, um, <coughs> the machine? Just to mix it, it was just easier. So, two lots. Spatulas. Okay, right, the second spatula out of the way. So we've got two mixers basically, okay? You've got your pink one, which is your raspberry ripple flavour. So it's basic sponge with a bit of extra ground almond inside it. Okay? Right, not difficult. That 
that's that one and that's this one okay right what i was saying about me lining thread okay we're gonna go back to the lining so you're gonna when you're making this mix you're gonna split this tray in half you can do it lengthways but i think we'll get smaller chunks in there because you're gonna cut them in half bear with me you'll see at the end the same with the same with that tray and i've actually ran out of some screw paper this morning i noticed well, what you need to do with this screw paper is do like a thing down the middle first anyway you want to split this tray make a barrier yeah you can like want to split the tray same i'm going to do in this one and then we have this screw paper at the bottom of this tray are you lining it with some butter yeah i'm going to line it with the foil as well i think should you so I'm oil spray oil spray is the easiest thing you know to grease baking tray you know this is one of the easiest things rather than get butter out and stuff like that top tip there you go. top really, tip really, really is top tip okay right now what i actually want to do is line the plum tin you haven't got use grease for your tray right. as you've got it salmon has just logged in right okay we'll take that off the bottom and put that in Use your grease free paper if you've got it. I've just ran out, so I've just done this as an emergency. One could, I could not be bothered going to the shops this morning. That's the first, uh, by the way. <laughs> I'm waiting That's for you first. to say that. Right, get that stuck in. <laughs> he knows, because I'm literally in the shop. They can't tell me time to go to the shop. It's actually quite funny, isn't it? Yeah, we do the pool. Right, okay. So that's that. Okay, look, this one. Luckily, we've got 95 minutes away from me, and we know that we're going to And I said, normally, just do the 200 gram if you're just doing a small batch for yourself. This is because I'm feeding the millions as usual from doing extra. So, and we will have enough extra. Someone just said the uh, flip flops and spotty socks. Yeah, I suppose you. Stop <laughs> looking down there, <laughs> oi! Actually, we might, we might have just done for this one, but I don't want it to rise too much, so let's have a look. Stop it, you. Zama, stop noticing down there. That's a super, super casual look. <laughs> right. So, just so I said, so you don't want it to be too big a layer. Let me see. Am I actually getting one? I don't know. But normally, do 350, it does rise oh, quite deep, a bit. How deep do you want it in? I don't want it to be too Is it high. a thin layer? Yeah, because this will rise, obviously. And when you're cutting your Battenberg, Okay, that should be enough in there because you don't want it to be too high okay right so one side for that the point um, is a little down one side is you think one well, i think i've got more pink to be honest that's why oh. let's have a look right so one side is pink Get your batter in. You might be able to squeeze a small one in the other tray. But then why not? So the pink one's going to be wide on here, so I'm going to move that across. Am I right? Yeah. The measurements are nice, eh? No. And also, you're going to be trimming this, it doesn't really matter. You are actually going to be trimming it. So it doesn't have to be exact. And you're getting a ruler and a measuring tape out and everything. It's all very scientific. Right. You don't need either one then. I don't think I'm going to use the other one. But I just don't want it to rise too much. I'm just hoping it doesn't. It will. It will. I know it will. I'm going to mm. take some of that out actually. Mm -mm. You don't want it to rise too much because you're going to have a very big batten bag. Okay. Because your height of your squares. Is dependent on the size. But you'll never get it right. No. But every single one's going to be different anyway. There's nothing there, so what I'll do is I might not do that, but I might do some fairy cakes with it later on or something else with it later on rather than. Thomas has got a ruler. Yeah, no, you will need a ruler afterwards. Not right now, but you will. Ah, oh, so this is a cake for mathematicians. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right. Put that in the oven. Right, what was the oven set at? So it was 100 and. Ooh. I'm going to drop it down to 180, I'm going to drop it down to the 150. Now actually I'm going to leave it at my 180, 170, because I wanted to cook quicker today. 
I'm going to put my timer on 45. It should be done before that. But I'm going to put that in. Let's get that out of the way. It's in. Done. Right, super. Let's throw stuff in the sink out the way. We know we've done all this. Tidy up a little bit as we're going along. Right. Now. My next job. Was to sort the chicken. Now, did anybody brine their chicken? I hope you have been doing the brining. Trace the mayor said she was going to. Did you brine your chicken? Brine your chicken. Why did I brine the chicken? I'll only We'll come back to that in a second. Okay, some chicken was right. put in a bowl so, with salt. So it's about two to three tablespoons of salt and some cold water. And I did this about half eight this morning because I was actually awake at random times this morning. I was just telling you what night this morning. So the whole idea, honest to God, this was a revelation. We did this on Monday and Wednesday and it is a complete game changer. Really, 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 really does make a difference to your tempura chicken. Okay, right, really do it. Just do it once and you won't do you won't do without this because it just makes the chicken really juicy, right? So you have got to do that. I've never done it before. I've not been into brownie before, but I'm telling you, do so what, it. What is it? So literally, I mean the traditional I was reading up right. Traditional man brownie, what they do is put jugs of salt, big gallons of water, and they actually boil it. So it's kind of like sterilizing it. Let it cool down and then use it. I've just gone for just filled it with cold water and salt. Still does the same trick. And basically, what the salt is doing is drawing out the juices, breaking down the protein also of the chicken. I've read them this, right? So that when you put it in the oven, it's not going to harden up as well. So you get this, and also the salt is also flavoring the chicken inside already. So you've already got those flavors coming in really how nicely. Long, how long has that been brining? Minimum three hours. This is probably about four hours. But they say four. Some people do it overnight, so like 14 hours and stuff like that. But I'm just mad. The, the, the guy right. I was watching, three hours minimum. Well, we tried it, and it was really good. And it good. was really good. It was really good. So I'm just going right. to take the salt out. The water Dump out. the water out. Yes. So that's the next job. Okay, let's take that out. I'm going to put it into my bowl. Okay. This is tandoori. Right. Okay, let's just see them sound. I'll tell you what the difference is. So what I did do was slash each chicken. You should know that. And do you know what? The poor mum, I feel a bit distraught again with my butchers because he's given me like the smallest possible tandoori chicken legs ever. Right, really, really. Ask. The middle of the week, we've got a nice big juicy ones, we really? And they're like, this is very small. Anyway, right. Before, before I start that, I'm gonna, I've got some, I'm going to have to do this first because I'm going to do toasted garam masala as well. So for the burgers, you need to do the cumin seeds, Toasted and ground. This is for the burgers now. Yeah, this but I'm also going to do my garam masala fresh. I want to show you because I ran out. So I thought I'd show you fresh garam masala, how I do it. What are you toasting? This is cumin seeds. Straight. Okay. This is for the burgers. This is for the burgers. Spicy vegetables. It does vegetarian. make a huge difference, okay? Vegetable burgers. Yeah. Bean burgers. Bean. Bean. Okay. Bean burgers. Right, toasting. Right, while that's going on, so for those who haven't watched before and don't know what we're doing with the garam masala, so you get a whole mixed packet of spice. And it says garam masala on there, so these are whole spices for garam masala. So you can buy the ready-made packet, which we also use, um, and that's got a slightly different flavour to it. But we're going to attempt toasting these this time and then put it in the grinder. So I've got a little grinder, bullet grinder. Right, I can smell that already, so that's already going. So I'm going to put that in there. In the bullet grinder, we're going to grind this up, hopefully without it going everywhere. Okay, I can leave some in the pan because I'm going to use the other good masala anyway, so it doesn't matter. We don't need, we only need a couple of tablespoons, I'll just put it all in now, it doesn't matter. We only need a couple of tablespoons of this, right, maybe about a tablespoon or so, just because you've got to do the um, Cajun spices, basically we need our own Cajun spices, so I think so. Okay. So that's the What can you one. use if you haven't got one of those? Or a, um, you can use a big, big, the big multi Let's say you bought a Hanari and then somebody. Used <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Sam, he never forgets about the Hanari experience. 
Okay, so that's an accumulant, but that's for later on. We'll leave that there. So we're going to do the same principle as what I'm going to do for the garam masala spices. So not all of it, but I'll do some of it. I'll just toast it. I'm going to toast it. I don't know what we're doing, but because the dry frying pan's on, I'm going to toast it. It's a definitely a strong smell when it's being it? roasted. But don't over burn it. So just because we're going to use garam masala in our pan, we? Now, today I'm not going to use yogurt in mine because we... That was a bit of a sort of going away from traditions, isn't it? But, right, because the salt has done a lot of the work for you there, and it means it's quite tender. The whole idea of using yogurt is to tenderise it, and I don't think it made any difference on Wednesday when we didn't put any yogurt in it. Did it? Made no difference whatsoever. Give it a try. If you haven't got yogurt, just use some oil, and it does work, honestly. Just brine the, <laughs> the chicken. Right, so again, toast it those up a little bit. Let's get that going. Was just time. What? No, I didn't put any yogurt in. You, you can put an optional, and if you feel as though you're going to go too far away from the traditions, Sama, you may put your yogurt in. I'm not stopping you. And also, the other thing I didn't put on the list was tandoori masala. Uh, Mira's in the park watching you. <laughs> Bless her. So, and also, have a nice walk for us, Mira. Oh, Sama says, you're starting to sound like Mowgli. Also, <laughs> shut up. Right, oh, I didn't use... Yes, you're making a cake, right? And Mr. Kipling wrote Mogul. Right, listen. Right, I also did not use um, the tandoori masala. Well, I haven't got tandoori masala, but I might use that. But I haven't got tandoori paste. Don't stress about it. Use what you've got at home is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, if you haven't uh, got the paste... Well, your sister's saying uh, you're supposed to be showing traditional cooking. I, true, 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 true. I did think about that this morning. But I like this one. This is nice as well. So it doesn't matter. I'm trying to say is use what you've got in. Cause a family rift. <laughs> so it's not about what you like. Oh, Sal, shut up. Sal's heckling. So, you know, we're not having a family rift. <laughs> shut up. What about, can you use flavoured yogurt? <laughs> right, come on, let's put the spices and stuff. Strawberry inside. yogurt. Okay, you start with a little, I'm not going to put too much salt in because it's already got salt. Okay, so, so it's a little bit of salt, literally. Put some more. <laughs> not because it's actually got you know it's actually got the salt of the thing so this is Kashmiri chili powder because a lot of people seem to use it ah. because it seems to be technically more redder so, more intense and more so redder I don't I didn't think there was much difference to be honest okay That's so we got so this nice. in so we used about only four, and we've only got small chicken legs as well don't forget about half a teaspoon less than that I'm gonna use Materia to give it a bit of colour. Salma does agree. Uh, use the strawberry yogurt. <laughs> Shut up. What talking about? I've got a On your it. chicken. Shush. Right, bit of tandoori in the turmeric even. Right, use a little bit of calcary powder. What about the yogurt with honey in it? That would probably be really good. A little, only put a little bit of curry powder in. Okay. Right, yeah, so right. then you're going to... I'm ignoring you. Yes, concentrate. Right, so you've got your two garam masalas. What we just made... Just made that. Very strong smell. And the shop door packet one as well. It's Both a, have got a very a different flavour. Flavor. So I'm going to put the garam masalas in. Okay. Both of them. A bit more of this one. Right. I'm also minty. Uh, if you like it, uh, again, just use what you want to use. Maybe sit in the same you've got to uh, use. I'm actually going to put stash. She's, A secret stash. She's is using out. a cold word. <laughs> oh, it stinks of stuff as well. You can really smell it. So I'm putting some minty in. Well, it gives, it's a very distinct flavour. You can smell it. It really does smell of the, of the secret stash. It does smell. Well, it's got a distinctive look. Yeah. Stop it. Right. <laughs> right, the other thing I am going to use, which I didn't put on the list, again, I'd like to miss stuff off, is the carom, carom seeds, which are, are 
very distinct flavour, so only use a little bit if you're using it. And you know, until you get used to using it, just use a little bit. Very if you are it. using it, you don't have to use it, I said. And again, most people would use let's get let's get the tandoori masala out. I think a few of those should come to me. This tandoori masala, right? No, so this is artificial. <laughs> right, so and you normally get a tandoori paste jar. So you can use that's the quickest and easiest way of making a tandoori. And do you know what a tandoor chicken is? This is what I was, when you said to me, what are you researching, what you're looking at, is what is the difference between tandoori chicken and tikka chicken? Okay, tikka yeah. and tandoori. Okay, because everything's just a spice. They both actually do have the same spice, more or less, right? It's the fact that the tikka is, tikka is just small pieces. Tikka, tikka, tikka. Right, and the uh, tandoori is on the bone. That's genuinely what right. the difference is, okay? Right, so don't sit there. Fozier's cat was called okay. Tikka. Tikka masala. Right, bear oil. Just really want me to put some, you can put lemon in. But don't forget this has been tenderised already, so you don't need to put lemon and all this stuff. Shall we put the yogurt in to appease my sister? No, I'm not going to. Just ignore Mira, it. Uh, Mira said, what is, the, what is that? What is what? Oil. I just put oil in. Or just put oil in. Just oil. And uh, some tandoori masala. Okay. And now the coating of the chicken. Okay, so I'm going to leave that about half an hour while we do that. And I'm going to put it in the pan later on after the bean burgers, just to show you what happened, right? What happened was, my pans are not non-stick as you can see, right? So they stuck to the pan and it was causing them to go quite dark quite quickly. And then I bought a piece of coal which was not going white or as it should have done, so it was quite big and chunky. So we had a bit of a dilemma with it. So we thought, I'm not going to stress you guys out with it. Safa says, you're not even making it correctly. Stop crying. This is my version of it. Right, you can put yogurt on if you want to. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think I've even got yogurt. No, I have actually. I have, but I'm just going to wind Samara up. So let's leave it at that. Right, don't forget, as I said, you can put yogurt in if you want to. It's my yogurt. But it generally, generally, generally doesn't need it. It's all right. It looks okay with that. Generally, it isn't, doesn't need it. I know it doesn't because we taste it. So, you know, it doesn't. Just let Sama wind a bit. Be fine. So, what's... Uh... Right, so I'm going to cover that. Put it aside for a half an hour while we do the bean burger. So, actually, to me, it's actually really, really easy. And you can put... Oh, my God, I forgot. Garlic ginger paste. Yeah. You need, like, some sort of flavouring. How did you miss that, Sama? Salmon, you forgot salmon, it's probably garlic ginger pasting. So, garlic ginger paste, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, whatever you want to put in. I actually find, I don't even use this in curries, but I like it inside. It's because it just soaks in a lot better in the marinade. Two, Two tablespoons. Oh, that's really strong. It's that's a very, a very strong, strong flavour. But it is a nice flavour. Okay. And I said, I don't really tend to use it in curries, but you know what? It really is nice. And you put it on here. Look at the colour on that. It's a nice colour, isn't it? So now you've got more flavour with the garlic and ginger. And you can use fresh ginger and fresh garlic. No stopping you. Do what you want to do. Right. Okay. Got the other essentials out. Okay. That's the missing ingredient. That was it. <laughs> and they still all crying. I can't eat the kitchen room. Look. Right, so cling film it, I said leave it aside for half an hour. You can leave it all day and cook it this evening. Uh, but even after half an hour, it really, because the salt has broken down the chicken, it does, you know, it really does, it's a quicker version basically and you can just get on with it. Cover it. Quite quickly. So let's cover that. Job done. As I said, so later on, if we don't get a time to put, do that, all you need to do is put it in a roasting tray and put it in the oven. So I tend to put foil, and hopefully I'll show you what to do with that part. Put it um, with foil <coughs> over it, and I cook it at a lower temperature for about an hour, about 150 degrees, to keep it soft. And then take the foil off, and then bring it up to 180 to 200 degrees, and then let it crisp up for another half an hour, 45 minutes. But that first part keeps it really nice and soft, and you keep it at a lower temperature. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Right. Now right. burger time. Burgers. Okay. These are really good. Um, this is one of Zeph's favourite stuff. It really is. Well, 
I always liked the uh, bean burgers. Yeah. I never I was into fast food like McDonald's and Burger King because you really can't eat much there. Right. What we need to do is go to the sink. Put that over here. But when Burger King brought out that that uh, spicy bean burger, uh -huh. I thought great. Okay. I always thought it was pretty good. Right. Okay. I'm just emptying that sink a little bit because we're going to drain the greens. Okay. So again, use whatever cans you want to use. Okay. I've just got a load in. I had black eyed beans in. I've got, so don't drain the chilli beans, okay, because it's got flavour in that. So let's just drain everything else. So what are you starting in. with now? So I've got chickpeas. And you, some people will use that as the farmer and use it if you're vegan and that, keep it. If you're not, don't worry about it. Okay, but, chickpeas. Okay, I've got garden peas. And the other thing is you can boil, you know, mixed veg packet. And yeah. you can add that to it as well. Do you know what I mean? So you just go for it. So that was peas, one can of yeah. peas. What beans are those? And this is cannelloni. You this can is very you high use. protein, this burger. Use whatever you want to use. Okay. Any beans that you want to use, you can I've use. I've put beans. I need to actually put, wash them full. And what's that one? Extra Do you chickpeas. know what? It's just last bit of chickpeas from the other day. I'm just going to put that in there. Put that in there. Okay. Right. Let's put that there. Right. Um, so I need to tinker to those two. Oh, no. No. All right. Drain your beans out. Okay, I might need to rinse that bowl and stuff. What's that? Black eye beans I've got, so I'm going to put some in. Black eye beans is an amazing curry. My mum used to make this really, really nice black eye oh, beans. Salma curry. agrees, uh, bean burgers are really nice. I, I prefer them actually to. Do you know what meat's in the burgers when you buy from the shop? Okay. Right, a little bit of sweet. I'm not going to put the whole tin of sweet corn in. Just sweet corn. Corn. So I'm going to put some of that in. Some of this in, let's get underneath that. Okay. Put about half of the tin in. Or all of it? No, we'll leave that for the tuna. Right, so I'm not going to put that in yet because chilli bean has got a sauce. We're going to use a little bit of the sauce just to give it a flavour. What, what is it actually? Chilli beans. Chilli beans and yeah. chilli sauce. Yep. Okay. And what's the prep is done? We're going to do spice things up by using. We're going to now chop some bits. Jalapenos. Jalapeno. And it's not jalapeno, honey. Jalapenos. I never said it was. Right, so going back to you, that frying pan. You could, or you could put these in raw, but I just like them a little bit. It's cooked as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop the onion up. And I said, if you really want to, want to, you could just put it all in raw. That's not a problem, but... Hey. I think it just gives it a nicer flavour by cooking it through all the extra little bits that are listed up. So you've got the red onion, and so there's no harm putting it in, but I'm just going to sauté it is the word. Uh -huh. Sauté it, lightly sauté. As you can see that um, knife does a really good job. <laughs> you think it's nice? <laughs> okay, let's go for that. Right. You want some oil in there? Yeah. It's just a little sauté. Or you can just put it raw into the mix bag. I've always cooked it because I think I like cooked onions and stuff. Okay, so Same onions are here. chopped up. You're putting in some extra garlic. Bread. Right, I'm, I'm not using a whole bowl of garlic. I'm using four or five pieces of garlic because we're going to use garlic powder. We've got a nice flavour with the garlic powder. Okay. It's a very healthy burger. Yeah. Eat as many as you want. Yesterday, so we're just using that up. Just literally, just to use what you've got in. Chop them up a little bit small. Okay, so we're again chop that in. Just gonna keep chucking it in. Just 
Don't forget, keep up one eye on the clock for your cake as well. Don't forget, we'll forget about that. That was 45 minute timer, you said. Yep. And uh, Paul, you're doing another mushroom? I'm going to do about five or six mushrooms. I like the mushrooms in this. There's some veg. Let's have some veg in there, I think. What's that? Breadcrumbs. Just to, because the beans can be wet, you need some breadcrumbs. So I just use a normal bl uh, ground. I've just got the ends of all the breadcrumbs, the slice of bread that people don't need the ends of. It's just like, I'll just use that. This pause you as a chef technique. When you go to culinary school for eight years, you <laughs> learn how to move a frying pan. Yeah. Here we go. One more, and the last one, and then some pepper. Sizzling away. Well, literally, seriously, I don't have to just use whatever you've got. You haven't got this, and you just want to just use the beans, and that's fine. Okay, then you've got pepper. Cut your peppers. Can you use pepper. a bullet pepper? No, that's different, isn't it? Scotch bonnet. Well, we're going to use jalapenos. We've done them before. What your actual heat? You know, I've got to know. What pepper? Oh, yeah, you use jalapenos. That's what gives it a little bit of heat. Yeah. And also, you've got like the smoked paprika, which will give a nice Cajun flavour as well. Can you use curried beans? Not really. I've got the chili beans and that's probably as far as I take it. Okay. Next week I was thinking, I've got something, because we've done this one, I thought it would be quite interesting to do. <laughs> interesting to do. Stop that. So, I'm going to do some Chili jam. Yeah, that'll be fully set, but you can you, you get the principles of it. You can use it once you want. Yeah, that's what chili jam. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Woo! That's a trick that Paul did learn at chef school. And it was it's still draining. Jalapenos. Oh my god, can you do that? I haven't got a clue where I'm going to fill before. Right. Mr. Right. Child is actually doing something. Doing this. Yes. <laughs> you must have loosened it. <laughs> Who's hacking to Selena's account? Who's hacking to Selena's account? Oh my god. What's happened? Salma's account. Oh, Salma's Oh, that's normal. The Selena's oh. his wife. Selena's will definitely join you next week for okay. all that. Yeah, uh, you must have loosened it there. when you turned it because it was pretty easy. <laughs> Because we've had that gash last week. It's taken ages to heal because obviously I'm. Um, you need stitches. No, no, because I've got the gloves on. It's still, no, it's not healing. It's taking longer to heal. So use as much as little as you want of this. I'm going to put a few more. I like I like the flavour of the beans. Right, more jalapenos. We put more jalapenos, you know. More. Just, you can use two or three. You can use none. More. This is, just, this is the spice level they're going to go with. Um, you could use. A small chili, you know, one chili. Yeah, you can use it, but it's a different flavour. This is jalapeno, which has this is like the Cajun spice, and the Cajun flavour. So we're just doing a little bit of a different flavour this time. Okay, right. So I'm turning this off. Just saute it. Right, let's put it all together in the bowl. Right, we've got our beans, hopefully drained mostly. Right. Drained. Okay, drained. Okay. Right, jalapeno, is it? Right. We've got this mush. So Hina said that Salma's account must be hacked because she made a nice comment. <laughs> Is that what it was? That's really, I love that one. <laughs> that was excellent. That was so funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's really funny. Good on you, Sahina. <laughs> yeah, so what, these are your... Oh, the chili beans. I'm trying not to put all the 
sauce in, okay? Um, leave some of the sauce out because you don't want it to be too wet. Okay, so I bought the flavourings in, so I'm bringing it out and leaving some of the sauce in there. Alright, so we don't need the sauce. Okay. So I've left the sauce in there. Can you drain the sauce off? No, I didn't want it. I've got some of it in there, okay? Right, we're going to start adding. Let's have it away. We could do it. I don't think it's just fingers. I think we just go for it and then just mush it. Oh, I know. I put it half in the blender. Right, some of it. Did you hear that? Right, so what I tend to do is quite a little. Bleep. Is to break it down a bit, is to put it in the blender. Right. On, let's go and do that. But not all of it, some of it. Okay, because you want some texture to it as well. So, Or you could use the fork to mash it up with if you wanted to. You could, and you can use those potato mashers. You know, those ones, but we've got the fancy rice ones, so let's just. Alright, so some. you're grind. you're going to mash it up using the yeah. machine. I'm going to use half of it, not all of it, because you want some texture. Okay. Well, maybe three quarters of it, but leave some of it, okay? And then we'll add the cheese and the other bits as well. And the breadcrumbs. I don't want to put the breadcrumbs back into here. Okay. Right. Let's see what we can get in. Totally meat free. Yeah, this is. And it's actually vegan as well. So for those veganites of you, people. Right, that should be loads. And we've got some in there to give it texture as well. Too watery a face, so that's probably about that was right. It. Yeah. Right, so you've got all this. I'm gonna put it on one side because I might take some of the other bit out and put it into here. Okay. Put it onto one side, as I said. And then what I'm gonna do, put that back in and use some of the other that's not done because well, it's still then. quite big. Right, that should How much do you want? Half? That's really, three you're quarters. looking at three quarters Yeah, that's three quarters up. mashed Yeah. Right, then the space is too long. And not even long, okay? Literally, you want it to be coarse mash, not a thin body paste or like that at all. Okay. I was just swore on live air. I didn't did you, did know. Hear I went, oh, F. Yeah, I kind of like it didn't. Just lying to the general public. Right, okay, spices. Yeah, you so, would catch Delia Smith doing that. They, no, they, what they would do is they would edit it, okay? Black pepper. That's what has happened. Oh. And you need some breadcrumbs in there because it is wet otherwise. So let's go with that much for half. That's, that was two and a half slices. So I've done about three quarters of it there. Right, spices first, let's go with that so we don't forget it. Salt, black pepper, two obvious ones. How much? I did about a tablespoon of salt first. Right. So about a tablespoon of salt. You can taste this as well, by the way, so because it's going to be full cooked stuff and that, you can actually taste the seasoning. Right, do you remember the, the whole cumin? So I'm going to put some of that in. Okay. Do you remember, so we said oregano, so you got smoked paprika. I've actually got a sweet one actually, which I thought was a bit posh. Smoked. And I bought this the other day, so I need to actually open the lid. Brand new. Brand new. Okay, so I'm going to use a teaspoon. There's no way I'm going to sprinkle that on. Damn. Okay. I can't get you that for your birthday. You've no. already got one now. Yes. Oregano. It's very Cajun spice. Sprinkle it over. Oregano. Garlic powder. I love the garlic powder. It's one of the best spices ever. It's garlic powder. Should go in everything. Should go into curries, really. You just dumped the whole thing? Yeah. No, that's fine. It's about a tablespoon worth. There wasn't a lot in there. Okay, and then we want to do is cheese. Let's get some cheese in. Let's give it some nice niceness, yumminess. Hang on. A baby just walked in. Close the door, child. Okay, right. So yeah. we've got some. How much was in there, roughly? Let me tell you now. What type it's about of cheese? 100 grams. What type of cheese are you This doing? is mature cheese, what we have now, in the fridge. Could you use that Mexican? Any cheese you could want. Could you use that Mexican one with right. stuff that's already cheese. got it in? I'm going to also add. Some feta because I want to use it up. That's the only reason why you were asking me why, and I say, Right, I don't so give it a nice flavour. This has um, never been done before, by the way. 
It's just because I've got it in the fridge. Use what you've got in. Okay, this is simple. Oh, I, I would have really used the Mexican cheese, which has all got chilies in it. Right, let me just... Kia. Quick nip at my cake. Right, what's the cake doing? I think it's cooked. Okay. That side is... That's okay, turn it up, turn it up. I think it is actually, I think it's just me. Right, let me go and get one of those piercing things. Oh, this is the cake test to see how, um, okay. if it's cooked or not. So, get a little stick. Get your stick. Get your Tooth skewer. Cake. Hmm. It says it's cooked. That one is. Yeah, but you know what? I'll go with it because it's quite brown on top as it well. It says it's cooked. Okay. Okay, if it's sticky and yucky, then you, yeah. Okay. You didn't do that one. That's definitely cooked. You can see straight away. Okay, right. I'm going to leave the oven on for the chicken afterwards. I'm just going to put the oven back on. Chicken. Right. Back up in a second. Right, so. Okay, so you've got your spices in. All you do is give it a good mix. Okay. Bring it together. Squeeze the whole thing together. Now, if you had time yourself, I would put this in the fridge for half an hour or an hour and let it set. Okay. You're going to get a better, firmer mix. I'm probably going to put, because I'm going to do it quite quickly, I'm going to put all the breadcrumbs in, because, um, but it does go nice and cold. Um, and you didn't know I normally need this much, but because I, I wanted to kind of stick together and bind together quite quickly, I'm just going to go with that. Right, now, because, as I said, everything in here is cooked, you can taste seasoning. Do you taste your seasoning before you cook it? Sam doesn't like tasting anything. She was telling me the other day. She's a bit fussy about things like this. Why? Yeah. She doesn't, well, she you doesn't know, taste anything. She's how like, do you know if it's too salty? True chef always tastes their stuff. What happens if sure. something's too salty? How do you how do you solve that problem? Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I love that. I love being here. It's so good. That's really nice. Hang on. Hang on. You've got to do the face that Mark Wayne's does. I'm a bit more Cuban, actually. <laughs> do Mark so, Wayne's hang face. On what does he do with the eyes? He pulls the eyes, doesn't he? <laughs> Mark Wayne's is a food blogger. I'd uh, recommend you've never seen his stuff. That is, that is really nice, honestly. Really nice. So good. So good. I think that better also lifts that, you know, really nicely. Okay. That looks pretty well done. Okay. But I said, if you've got time, bung it in the fridge, okay? And we Half have got an time. hour, 30 minutes. Yeah, literally. Right. Now, we're so going to just cook it. Are you doing yeah. some frying, top Let's level frying? It. Let's just do it. Okay, suppose we... Right. I found a non-stick pan. I actually had one. I didn't think I had. And this is how healthy it is. We can use... So we said it's all random. What, numbers? What are we talking about? Nobody knows. Shoma, what's Shoma? <sighs> The universe, so <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I think there's an order to the universe. It's not random. Not finding it up. Right, so I'm going to get this dish out of the way. Right, so I'm going to get this dish out of the way. Uh, spices. Salma says that spices are all random. The answer is the flavors of Asian spices. There was a, a definite technique to uh, no. adding them in. We shall, yes. It's fine. Suppose you bought this plate. This is one of her unique ones. Right. And I'm going to do the chicken in this afterwards. So, so basically, I said, we'll, we'll go for it. Right. Now, if it's too loose, dip it into an egg white. We'll see how we go. We usually I don't have to, and I know I don't normally, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Right, so you're going to make the And we make them quite in. big, because they're going to be burger proper shape. burger shapes, don't we? So. Go with the flow, Sam. We shall see. We shall see. Let's see how we go. Right, so that's a burger shape. We'll just see. I think you usually get away with it. Ceiling. Yeah. Okay. Let's see that again, look. You do know Salma will be on the rod for these later on, just so you all know. Just in case you hear the things that she may criticise it all the way through, but she does rob the food. Here you go. Can you use olive oil? Anything 
I suppose he's just made it a palm sized one. And you can't put these in the fridge for like I don't know, five, six days. We have like lunch, these are perfect for lunch, you know. And also you can freeze these just like any kebabs or anything like that. Yeah, I was you say, can, can you freeze them? Yeah, of course you can. Just do them all flat first. Uh, Someone's going to rob them for the family. Of course, yes. We know. Which is fine. Well, Selena's going to have a bash at these over half term. You know what, Selena, you'll really, really enjoy these, I'm telling you. One can change if you think you've been eating too much meat. Um, you can still have your burger. Your knife. Yeah, nice flat fish squeeze. I can't find it. Okay, we'll just use the regular. Give me a few minutes to feel. It's We're sealing. But it's sticking. I normally do the regular pan. It was sticking. Pan? But normally we do You said it was normal stick. And if it doesn't, you just put some egg, dip them into egg, but you, I never have to normally, so we'll see how we go, as I said. Give them time to seal. Okay. Alright. I'm going to get the cake out. I was wondering the other day how I can get the boys to eat vegetables on a regular basis. Because you can't sneak it in anywhere, but this could. Ah, right, the one thing you don't have to worry about is how many calories it's got because it's going to be low. Or lower the meat and have the same protein. No, I've uh, I'm misguiding you there. You can tell I've just taken the uh, poly off the case as well. I've just seen to let it cool down a bit more quicker. What was he doing something in the background? I'm not telling you. I'm just sorry. I'm just taking the cake out. Just get air to it so it can cool down quicker. Oh. We'll sort that a second. No, that's fine. Right, okay, let's try to turn these over. Yeah. Um, traditionally, they just are quite soft, veggie they are quite soft, so this is fine. So, do you use a griddle before? Yeah, no, we have, we don't normally use a griddle, but it's because we've got some posh, not one, one six pounds, but only the second step. I've never heard of a pan being posh. Well, it's got that monkey one there. Well, that posh, posh, posh people us. pay other people to do their cooking. <laughs> <laughs> or cook for them. They don't really care what we You can put a little bit of oil at the bottom, but I actually just like the oil spray, by the way. So, you can do this if you want. You can do what you want. Oh, that's a lot of oil. Yeah, that's just that. Like and we're opening the back door because we haven't got... We're opening the door. Okay. Okay. You think you should use an egg to... You can if you haven't got the egg in one, you know what, we'll do a couple with eggs until we finish with the first one. Let's do that. With an egg binding thing. Oh, what's up, yeah? I'll see what it is, I'm going to have to. I don't think about this. It's not the great deal today. I like it out of 50 or so. It's the same as this before. Yeah. Okay, sure. See? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. I'll stop there. I know it's your favourite. He's just so really excited because this is really is one of his favourite meals. Okay, of course he's going to do an egg binding. Right. One. Let's just take this out before I burn this. Is it ready? Yeah, because they're cooked inside. Everything's been already cooked, don't forget. So you don't need to do much with this. Yeah, these will go into your... Um... Okay. Right, I'm going to see what the difference is with egg white. Right, okay, we'll have a little look now. In the posh pan. In the posh pan. 
Okay, so you'd go about making it as you normally would. Yep. But then dip it in egg. Egg white, no, but it doesn't matter. We're we'll, we'll just going to try to dip it in the egg itself. Okay, let's go for it. Usually it's the egg white, but yeah, that's it, the eggs. Let's... Egg burger? Okay, let's see. But then this wouldn't be vegan. Just so you're all mad. I think you do a vegan version. I'll do two of these. Let's just do two. Mm. I like it without, normally it's quite fine, it does, it does the job. They are soft, you just got to be a bit careful with them because they are really, really tasty. Once that goes inside a bun. Nice. That sounds good. Normally, normally say out like that, so this is a bit of a difficult. Uh, well, if you haven't got the confidence, then use the egg white to obviously divide it. Egg over the top of it, so yeah. it's going to look a little bit different. Extra protein. Or a lid. Uh, if you've got a matching lid, then that's fine. Yeah. 
I've got matching trousers. I've got matching trousers. He was wearing this t-shirt on this morning. I made him get the chains and he's, he's wearing this t-shirt on this morning. It's like 20 years old and ripped and everything. So he won't get rid of it. And I was like, you are getting out of that. Well, you've got a pan that's 20 years old. Yeah, I know. I like I'm allowed to keep the pan for 20 <laughs> years ago. You see how he's dented beyond belief? That's how many times, well, it's been used as a weapon a couple of times. I've smacked a few heads in the past. Not mine. Don't forget to form list of ingredients are off, you know, that sort of thing. So if there's anything you've kind of like missed, just go back. I think most, except for the chicken, I'll, if you want me to add on the Azuane and the Pandorian style, I think we're going to put on really that's the only thing I'm going to do. Put a in for there now. Alright, so now it's oven. So I'm going to put mine in the oven. In the oven. Okay, not right now, but I'll put oil on it so you basically get the gist of it. So that's got the oil, it's got the seed, it's got everything on it, and it just needs foil wrapping. Yeah. I'm going to take this off now because the main mixing is all done. Foil up, yeah, foil it out. So I tend to cover mine completely. I'm going to put it in a lower oven, it's about 150 for probably about 45 minutes, check on it and I'll take that foil off and then another 20 minutes to half an hour, depending how long it needs. Okay, there you go, that's that done. Well you could have just done it in the pan as well. <laughs> Nisi, Nisi's found... Right. What? Well, Nisi's found some gifts. Actually found gifts, of course. Right, so, well I said, I wasn't joking, you will need a ruler. So we've got a tape measure in the kitchen, so unless you're going to use tape measure, you will actually need a little bit. Just mine. Okay. Right. So, let's trim the end off. Okay. Let's Why are you trimming ends. the ends off? Because that's how you get a nice neat thing. Let's get rid of this little foil. All these cake bits we will eat later, just so you know. We're not going to get wasted. Birdie's gonna have it. No, they're not. <gasps> How dare you? That's so getting eaten. Behave, birdies. Can you eat that? Cup of tea? That'll be sorted. Right. Okay. Now, what you want to do, kind of like look at the height of it. I don't get one squares. So it's about an inch and a bit. So, let's Are go. Are you doing for... metric or imperial? So, I'm going to do one and a half inch. And that you do have to be fairly accurate because you want neat squares, okay? So. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter if you're using metric or imperial. It does not matter. It just not, does not matter. So luckily it's split into three and that should do it. Okay? Because you can like this one's a bit longer. Yeah. Here. So we're going to do like one and a half. I think we're going to end up with... Enjoy eating the trimmings. That's what they're there for. Okay. Birdies. Stop it. Right. Same on this side. I'll leave that the same. Lisa says yummy already. Yeah. Okay, maybe we're small on that one. Okay, right, okay. So what you're doing? Birdies. <laughs> Shut up, you and your birdies. Here's your other. I'm going to have to use something to move it across the top a lot. But you need to do the other the line on the, on the right, other. longitudinal line. Okay. No. What? So just move it across because you're going to oh, you're gonna... end up. Right, what we're going to do is roll our marzipan out. Okay, I'll show you why. Because we're going to put it in the marzipan. Okay. I bought two packets because I know that we've got um, one in a bit, but you just do a smaller amount, you just need one packet. Last time I ran out, so I bought extra. Because I was making loads of it. Look nice. Stop it. Right, and I have got apricot jam. Okay, so you... Jaws. Got it. Ooh. So you will need a top jam. You've got 
conserve. I've got the, I'm actually going to bung it in the microwave because what you want to do is to be slightly runnier. Because you want to be able to kind of like, it's like a glue between the cakes. Okay. And between the marzipan. Okay. How long are you going to put it in the microwave? Probably about 10 seconds, interval 30 seconds probably. I only got the microwave here. Okay, I'm going to put it in the pan. I took the microwave out to give us space. Alright, so let's assume your microwave if doesn't... It's not, put it in the pan. It's fine. It's just going to oh, warm it up. We're just warming it up to make it runny. Runny. Okay. That's just more washing up for me, by the way. Absolutely. How much... Are you just putting it all in? Yeah. Every... But you do use quite a lot, you know, because I'm doing quite too. Look, so all of it goes in. Yeah. Apricots neutral, this is the reason why we tend to use apricots, uh, very neutral apricot flavour. Oil? No, we're not using apricot oil. Right, it's starting to thin out, or just until it, it just until it just goes just really. See, starting to cashmere, loosen. Cashmere, they use apricot oil on virtually everything. Apparently it was cashmere day yesterday, oh, my, my, my brother's gone to Pakistan. And he said, why haven't I made a cake yesterday? Yeah. Or did, was it day before Sal, I can't uh. remember. It was saying it was actually cashmere day, cashmere day. He was not very happy that I hadn't made a cake. Didn't know. Okay, that's a bit better. You can use it as a glue. Okay, that's literally what you want. You're going to burn your hand there. I'm not going to burn my hand. I might burn your hand, but not mine. Right. Yeah, do I need a brush? I don't think I need a brush. We'll see how we go. Okay. Put that bit out of the way. So, you've got your marzipan, you've got your cakes, and you've got your jam. Okay? Let's get this rolled out. Okay. Do I need that into there? I need it a little bit, make it easier to roll. Okay. Like plastic. Of course, it everything is. Get that all out. Right. There we go. Yeah, so next week I think we're, I'm not going to do these there because we're doing the kebabs and we're doing the pita and we're doing the chilli jam. There's a few and the, the normal chutney. I don't think we'll do a dessert next week. We'll just focus on making a full pita pocket. I'm just going to smooth that stick. So make sure you less than less, make sure you ice your surface. Ice and sugar. It's all right. It's all going to get rolled out. Come on. You can do your marzipan as thick or as thin as you want to. I can't believe how many people don't actually like marzipan. I'm just shocked. There's quite a few of you that don't like it. And you do, do you know what? All you can just do is put some jam and some coconut on it and just enjoy the cake anyway if you don't like that. So it really is what you want to do. Right, I think we've got it long enough. I'm going to fold it this way over because I want the cake to sit in here. Right, I'm going to trim that edge off. Check is enough to I'll make it longer so it'll roll over. The four sides. Okay. I think of right. this edge off. Might need to be rolled over there. Let's have a look. So we go. Right. So I need a pastry brush. Let's get some brush. I said I think the back of it is probably part of the studio today. So get your jam, and we're going to spread it down one side. Okay. Don't think we need the brush or not. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's start with a pink one. Pink one looks like yeah. Right. And then you need to brush the side in the middle so they stick together. Actually, gives a really nice flavour as well. If you have the homemade version, it's much nicer than the shop. Because you actually want the cakes all to stick together. So you bring the white one across. Okay. Then you want to put your jam over it. Okay. This time you want the white on the opposite side. Okay. You want this one to actually make me check it. Perfect. 
Yeah. Right, jam down the middle to make sure the two tops stick together. And so this is the trickiest part of everything I think today. It really, really is. If you get this bit right, it's going to look really nice. Okay. And so we're going to end up with one and a half. We're going to make like one and a half Battenberg, I think. Okay. Right. Jam right around the sides of it. Okay. I'm um, making a cake wall. Yeah. I'm just going to put it actually on here because it's probably going to be easier to put it onto here. Right. Probably go to that there because I don't want it to go all the way right around. And just gently take that right over. Yeah. And I've just done just enough. That is nice. Okay. So what I want to do is cut this bit off here. Trim the front off. Do you know there's even um, a thing called Battenberg um, marzipan cake? And dying to do it. I'm just going to trim the front off. It's easier to trim when it's a bit colder. So I'm going to probably set in the fridge and get a nice, some nice chips then. But you'll see it even now. You'll get a nicer result if you just leave it a little bit and try to trim when it's all set. You see what I mean? Well, that already it's giving you a nice effect. That's really nice, isn't it? Oh, can't wait to get into that. Okay, so I'm going to lift that up. Hang on. Can you do it? My cake lifter. I can't do it. Rosia has got a cake, cake lifter. lifter. Look at that. Put it on the chopping board to make it easy to cut. Okay. Get everything off the way. Right. I'm going to trim that end off at the end afterwards. I'm just going to let it set a bit. Right, because you've got the other bit as well. So, oh, it's so good, isn't it? It looks really so good there. Birdie. Shush. Right, so you've got this bit. Don't waste it. Make an extra bit of that bit. So we can cut this in half. We'll make a smaller amount. Okay. Why are you going to waste it? Okay. So use that bit. I'm not even open the second bit yet. Yeah. That should be enough. It should be enough. Last time I had so I must have made a good cake or something. A bit stickier because of the apricot jams in it, but that doesn't matter. Nisi said, wow. Yes. For those who don't know, Nisi is their sister, and we haven't seen her for quite a while, so I think she's just so excited. Right, that's all. So it's not too long this time, so I'm going to make it as in like height wise. So I'm just going to make it longer this time. This is just the jam inside here, so I'm not going to waste that. Okay, make it lengthwise. Uh, can you use other jam? Do you know this is like the most neutral flavour? That's why we tend to use it for this. It's actually the flavour wise, otherwise you're going to end up strawberry raspberry, they're all quite strong flavours, you know. Yeah, you can yeah. use it, but apricot's very neutral. What about molten peanut butter? So You could do that. The last bit of this one. Right, so we're building the little bricks knees. Nice. up again. These are the bricks knees. So don't, so don't waste it, make yourself some. Get the jam in the middle. Get the next bit of sponge. Okay. Jam on the top. Oh, almost out of jam. That's oh. okay, there's enough of this. Okay. And then that bit on there. Right Alternate the, the colours. Yeah, to make your checkerboard. It's a classic. I said all these flavours can be different flavours. You can use whatever you want to use, okay? There we go. And then that. Right, then you we'll see if we've got enough jam to whip it over. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I said, and if you leave it to set before you serve it, just, you know, give it about half an hour. I'd probably even put it in the fridge and let it just set. Okay, before you trim it off properly and feed the millions and stuff like that. Okay, so it's a I said, this probably is the most difficult thing we've had to do today. And I will neaten it all off. Can't get it in there. I'll just kill that. Don't. Okay. I haven't killed a cake, but you just get the juice. I'm not going to cut any more of it till later, but if you let it set, okay, then we'll trim the front of it and do all your nice bits with it, okay? Make it look all tidy. 
But, so what have you got today? You've got that. Right, we've got a shop So you've got your burgers, your bean burgers. You've got your Battenberg and the chickens in the oven. I think we've done well. Told you it was an easy one. I <laughs> did tell you it was an easy one. Right, so looking forward to our seat kebab pockets next week. Okay, with all the bits and bobs. Right, what do we say, Mr. Charbery? Uh, I don't know. Bye! Bye bye, everyone. See you next week. Okay? <laughs>